If you've seen the interior structure of many airplanes, you probably noticed lots of aluminum tubes. You can build a similar structural framework for your home flight simulator, but with inexpensive plastic pipe instead of costly aircraft grade aluminum. My DIY flight sim projects use PVC pipe because it's inexpensive and easy to work with. And it's also kind of fun to build things with plastic pipes and fittings. This is 1 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And 1 inch refers to the interior diameter of the pipe. You can buy it from any home improvement store. You'll find it in the plumbing department. Schedule 40 pipe is nice and sturdy. But don't confuse Schedule 40 with its cheaper cousin that is actually quite flimsy. The stores get them confused also, and sometimes the two types of pipe will be mixed up in the same bin. So always check the label for Schedule 40. You can also check the ends of the pipes to make sure you're buying the one with the thicker, stronger walls. The PVC fittings are inexpensive and easy to find. Different manufacturers make the fittings with slightly different dimensions. For example, a Lasco fitting is pictured on the left and a Guangua is on the right. The pipes may seat deeper into the fittings depending on which manufacturer made them, and this may affect the dimensions of your project. I recommend you use fittings from the same manufacturer throughout your project, if possible. There's no way I can predict which manufacturer will make the fittings you will use. So several times during a project, we may measure the frame to verify it's even and symmetrical. If I need to attach two fittings right next to each other, I cut a short piece of pipe that I call a between. I call it a between because it fits between the fittings. It's a short piece of pipe about one and a half inches long. One more thing, the pipes tend to be dusty when you buy them. So before you cut or build anything, you should clean the PVC pipes with regular household cleaner. Later, when you paint the project, the paint will adhere much better to a clean surface. When I'm measuring a pipe for cutting, I like to use a permanent marker. I always label the length of the pipe so I don't get the different lengths mixed up. The marker isn't really permanent. You can remove the marks later with some rubbing alcohol. By the way, you can also remove the factory markings with steel wool. This usually isn't necessary for my projects because we always paint them, but it's an interesting option for you to know about. There are a few different ways to cut PVC pipe. This is a PVC pipe cutter. It has a strong ratchet that forces a thick steel blade to cut through the pipe. Position the blade right on your mark and squeeze and squeeze. It's actually kind of fun to cut through pipe like scissors. The pipe cutter is pretty awesome. It only costs about $25 or $30. It's small, portable, and quiet. And look how cleanly it cuts. You can also use a cheap miter box saw, but these saws are not really made to cut pipe. So the blade gets hung up sometimes. It's just not as enjoyable to use a miter box saw, plus it makes a little mess. If you have a power miter saw, this is definitely the best option. It's loud and makes a bigger mess, but you can cut a lot of pipe with little effort. You can also cut larger diameter pipes with a power miter saw like one and a quarter inch or two inch pipe. 
I suspect that PVC may heat up slightly when it is cut on a power miter saw. It could possibly release a small amount of noxious fumes. If you cut a lot of pipe in a short period of time, these fumes may become irritating, although I found no reliable evidence of this from other sources. But stay safe. If you're cutting a lot of pipe on a power miter saw, ventilate your work area and don't cut all the pipe at one time. You can easily make a complex framework by using PVC pipe. It's the PVC pipe fittings that make this so simple. Let's compare PVC pipe to lumber. If you wanted to attach these two boards at exactly 90 degrees, it's difficult and you may be off a little bit. But when you attach these two pipes with the PVC fitting, it's always 90 degrees. This fitting always makes a 45 degree angle. No matter how sloppy you cut the pipe, this angle is still 45 degrees. So are we limited to only 90 degree or 45 degree angles? No, I invented a way to make customized fittings that allow us to make other angles. So you will see that in some of the DIY Flight Sims projects. When you insert the pipes into the fittings, that is called dry fitting. I'll usually build a framework, then measure the frame to check its symmetry, and adjust as necessary. You can push the pipes further into the fittings or loosen them a little to make these adjustments. Lock the framework in place with self-drilling screws. I recommend number eight self-drilling screws half inch long or something of a similar size. If you decide to modify your projects later, it's easy to remove the screws and disassemble the parts. In some of my older videos, you might see me glue the pipes into the fittings with liquid nails. That's a cheaper method, but not nearly as good as self-drilling screws. See my other videos about that. Plumbers use glue that is made especially for PVC pipe. Now, that's great for plumbing, but it's terrible for DIY flight simulators. Do not use plumber's glue. It dries way too quickly, and once it's dry, it's stuck forever. You won't have a chance to adjust it, and you can never modify your project later. Plus, the fumes are really harsh. I also attach wood boards to the plastic pipe framework. This provides places to mount the flight controls, switch panels, and displays. The lumber also provides additional stability. After your framework is finished, you can combine it with styrofoam body panels to complete the enclosure. Your project might not need body panels. In any case, I always recommend you paint the framework to give it a professional appearance. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And subscribe too, so you don't miss my new videos. You can also connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Those links and more are in the show notes.